Hi, I'm Steve, and uh, today we're going to talk about the uh, Hovercam. Uh, the Hovercam is a uh, portable scanner, it's a document camera that uh, connects via USB to your computer and allows you to have a really nice portable solution for when you're uh, reading documents on the go. It's pretty straightforward to use. Basically, it's in its uh, retracted form right now, so it's, we've got a little latch on the back, and we slide the main post up, and then lock it back down, and then we flip open the document camera portion of it. Uh, it connects to the computer via USB, we just plug that in, and uh, we've got a light that's come on on it now. Um, the light is actually optional, you can have it off or on, there's a little switch on the end for, for turning the light off or on. And uh, uh, sometimes you would want to have the light off if you were scanning glossy material because you might get some shine back from it. Um, when you get the docu the, the uh, hover cam, they also give you this little mat. And the mat, you don't have to use it, but uh, it's handy because it shows you exactly what area you can scan with this. Um, one of the nice things about the hover cam, uh, particularly in comparison to some of the other document camera solutions out there, is it scans a much larger area. So um, you can actually do about uh, 11 by 14 with this, whereas most of the other ones that are out on the market right now uh, only do about uh, 8.5 by 11. So when we're scanning, we can actually scan, this is our, uh, our daily newspaper here, uh, we can scan a whole newspaper uh, using this. So there's two different pieces of software uh, that you can use the Hovercam with. You can use it with either the Eclipse Writer software from IRTI, or you can use it with the DocuScan software from Serotech. And both of those are pretty inexpensive products. Uh, we're going to bundle uh, the Hovercam with those products, and I think I've got them set currently at uh, 895 for uh, the um, uh, DocuScan, or sorry, 895 for the IRTI software and uh, 850 for uh, it with the uh, DocuScan software. So the two software programs are a little bit different from one another. Um, the IRTI uh, Eclipse Writer software uh, is designed to, to turn things into daisy books. So it, you can scan it, it'll read it to you, but when you're done with it, if you want to, you can actually take what you've scanned and it'll automatically convert it into a daisy book for you. So then you can take that and you can put it onto your daisy reader, even a little portable daisy reader, and you can walk off with your book at the end of the day. And the software is really smart. It looks for things like uh, bolded text and highlighted text and inset text, and it uses those elements on the page to create a daisy index for, for the document. So using the camera and the software together, you could take a book and you could do a batch scan and you could actually just flip pages of the book, uh, scanning each one one after another, and then have the software convert that entire book into a daisy book and the process is really quick. So I'll show you a scan with this newspaper here, because this is one of the more complex kind of layouts that you're ever going to run into. We've got different colors on the page, we've got some white text on green, we've got green text on white, uh, we've got a variety of different column layouts on here. So this is a really difficult document to OCR. So let's have a look at it and see, see how, it, how it goes. Uh, so this is, again, the, the uh, IRTR Eclipse Writer software that we're scanning with. So to scan with that, you hold down the control key and hit the space bar. Why? And it says why. Why it's just said why, I don't know. But this is a beta version, so we'll try that again. Scanning process. There we go. Please wait. Document analysis has started. So now it's analyzing the document. It's already taken the picture of the document, and now it's analyzing it to figure out where the text is on the page. And we should get some results fairly shortly here. I'm just going to turn the volume up. Now because this page is quite complex, it's probably taking a little bit longer to, uh, to analyze because it's got to figure out where everything is. Um, if you were documents. scanning a normal book, it would be fairly quick. Record registered trademark sports. Mega News, Doxie. We can be May 10th, 23, 2011. 31. The next game day. Scott, R.I. and here you Vancouver, PM, BTRO, and EWD, Ben, Peters, and 
six tenths the cost of the town since the sharks were wrapped up 20 minutes in penalties and talk as much trash on the ice as often in wetness. Day 7 to 3 loss. Well, that and the show he received in the penalty box when a female fan flashed her twins to the tough guy. Perhaps if she can make it to San Jose, eager will exceed his period of penal ties in game three. So I'm just going to stop it there. Um, now I'm going to do the same document again, but I'm going to do it using the Serotech uh, DocuScan Plus software. Okay, so I'm going to bring up the, uh, the system access menu, and you can get to the DocuScan software a couple of different ways. You can go to www.docuscanplus.com. You can get to it through there, or if you have system access, you can get it added to your system access menu. So I've, I've got it on my system, system access, access menu. menu. Connect to the system access mobile network. References. DocuScan Plus. So I'm going to D. go into DocuScan Plus. Menu closed. Now, DocuScan Plus is a little different than the IRTI software. It, it actually does things quite differently, because what it's going to do is it's going to take the picture that the scanner takes, and it's going to send it across the internet to a server. The server's going to analyze it and do the OCR on the, on the, um, the image, and then it's going to return the text results to us across the internet. The other nice thing about the DocuScan software is that it also will store your documents on the web. So when you scan something, it, it automatically gets saved to your web account, and you can go to another computer and access your web account and pull up that same document again. So it's kind of cool that way. Now there's different types of scans that you can do in here as well. You can do a simple scan, you can do a batch scan. I'm going to do a simple scan here. Simple scan. Simple scan. The simple scan option lets you quickly scan to me what the simple scan option is, I'm just going to skip to the continue link here. Scanning device, drop down list, cover cam. So I, I've got multiple scanners available on my system because uh, I use a little cam and flatbed sometimes too. Uh, so it's allowing me to select what scanner I'm going to use. I've got the hover cam selected. I'm going to hit the continue button. Scanning the page, please wait. This may take a get a really cool little camera sound there. And same process. So now, that image that it snapped is being fed out to Serotech servers. They're going to OCR it there and send me the text. This page is sideways. Full linesman bold Mac Ben Eater after he was called for an unsportsmanlike content penalty on Wednesday. Blood in the water. Beats of Ben Hank the Tank. Can of Gay Side. Scott Ritterl. Matt Kumi RP. Petroni 5. Ben Mac. Fix and tie. The talk of the town since the Sharks Slipper ran up. So again, we've got our OCR results back up on page here. Um, the uh, the DocuScan software didn't do quite as well as the IRTI software. It's uh, decolumnized it a little bit differently and put the uh, the order of things a little differently from, from how the IRTI software did. I think the quality of OCR of the IRTI software is a little better with the Hovercam than, than the DocuScan software. But there's a trade-off between uh, the portability, the ease of access for the OCR, and there's also the consideration that this is probably one of the most complicated pages that we could have thrown in this. Uh, if we were using a regular book, regular printed text of some kind, we would have probably had a very consistent result between the two different products. So that's the hover cam. So when we're done, we just fold it down, disconnect, throw it in our computer bag, or we can flip it over and use it as a club to beat assailants.